Oh, y'all coming inside? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my real life vlogs. I swear when I installed this thing, I did not expect that it would be holding masks. You just never know. All right, you guys, we are back in the mix. We are vlogging today, regular old day, okay? I was trying to figure out a way to ease back into the vlogging mix because it does require some transition. So I got so used to not picking up my camera for everyday stuff, but I am happy to be back. And if you guys are like, what is she talking about? I had initiated a break for myself where I took off the entire month of January. So I'm kind of trying to ease back into posting videos. If you guys didn't see my last video, it was kind of like that bridge back into posting on YouTube. So I'll put that link if you guys haven't seen that one. It was really cool though. I was giving you guys an update on the puppies, some general updates on me and my health. And and a luxury designer haul, which was pretty cool. So check it out if you haven't. So anywho, let me put you guys on the tripod because I just got back from the stores, or a couple stores, and I want to show y'all some stuff. All right, let me get out of this coat first things first. I redid my closets and I posted a video about that. Um, it was my last housework video, so you guys want to see how I remodeled these closets, definitely check that video out. I will link it for you. Let me take off my boots and my hat and we'll get into today's vlog. Okay. My birthday flowers. Stephanie had got me those roses. So cute. Okay, let me tripod you guys up. My mom had got me tulips and I put those in our bedroom. So yeah, we're back. All right, okay, so listen. Today's vlog is going to be very chatty because you know I gotta get y'all into the groove of me getting back into vlogging. And my update video was some updates, but it wasn't like everything, you know? So here I am at home all alone. Anthony is at work and Ann is at therapy. We got up early this morning and shoveled the snow because we had a couple of back-to-back -back snowstorms. So it's kind of been crazy around here with the weather. I went to the store because I needed to get a few items. Uh, I went to Target, I went to Menards. That was it, and I still need to run to the post office because I have not checked my P.O. box yet. Uh, so let me show you guys what I got from the store. Okay, so I got this curtain rod from uh, Menards because y'all girl Ann has been running amok, and she like tore down her curtains in her playroom. And then I picked up this LaCroix water from Menards, and then from Menards also, you guys, this is kind of funny this uh, thermal underwear set, all right? This is for men's, but you know, this is gonna be for me. <laughs> I tried to see if they had a small, but they didn't, but medium was the smallest. So we're gonna try to make this work, but this looks so comfy. I just couldn't pass it up. I'm like, as soon as I looked at it, I just thought, restful sleep. I'm like, you know, this is gonna be like super cozy around the house, so pick that up. All right, and then at Target, I wanted to get a few things for Ann and a few things for the house. I also wanted to go and scout like some of their storage solutions for some ideas that I had in here but I should have measured before I left because this is just an extra trip unnecessarily, but it's fine. I was able to see everything that they had. They had a lot. I'm just going to measure and make sure. But yeah, I wanted to get Anne a new lamp for her room. So I got this little teddy bear sort of nightlight. It kind of just glows. It, it has no exposed bulb or anything like that because the one in her room, she destroyed. I mean, absolutely, it's just not functional. It's garbage at this point. So I wanted to get her a light that she couldn't destroy, okay? She can't really mess this up. I mean, she can knock it over, but she can't destroy the bowl. Like, there's not much she can do. So I just figured this would be so much safer, and it kind of looks cute for her room. So I'm gonna stick that up in there. It has 300 lumens, so it's not super, super bright, but um, I think that's okay because she already has like a kind of shaded lamp in her room already in the corner, and she hasn't tried to destroy that one yet, so I think that one is safe. But I figured I'd get this one for her nightstand. French fries, she likes these RB curly fries and um, these waffle fries by Orita. Then for me, <laughs> I got some um, rice cauliflower. I had this for the first time recently, actually, you guys. I heard about cauliflower rice a lot, but I never actually tried it. But I ordered um, a burrito bowl from Chipotle and I saw that they had the cauliflower rice option. So I was like, okay, let's try it. And it was really good. It's nothing like rice, so I don't even know why they call it that. I, I, most likely because it's a rice substitute, but it's nothing like rice at all, like I was thinking. Not the shape, not the texture, not the mouthfeel, none of that. So it's just pretty much just like crumbled cauliflower um, 
that you can serve with things that you would normally serve with rice. So I like it. You guys know I've been doing a lot of changes with my diet, just like making adjustments and stuff. So I'm no longer like fully plant-based. I am consuming some meats, but mostly just sticking to like seafood with an occasional other item here and there. But I have been eating a lot of like salmon and um, you know, like lobster and crab and stuff like that. But I cut out coffee, like I mentioned, so that I can kind of gain a little bit more control over my caffeine consumption because I was just really getting the feel that I was consuming a little too much, even though I was only having one cup a day. But you know, doing something every single day just cannot be good for you, you know? So I wanted to redirect my focus from coffee and other things to just drinking water, and I have been doing that, and I've been feeling great. But I've been drinking a lot more tea, so like for, for the coffee replacement, I've been drinking tea. But I'm about to start reintroducing coffee in decaffeinated form and like I mentioned in my video the other day I'm not cutting out coffee forever but we are taking a really dramatic pivot from coffee and I don't expect to reintroduce it anytime soon but I know that there will be a time where I will have a cup of coffee but just not right now I didn't mention this in my other video but I've also stopped drinking wine and beer I really didn't drink anything else other than that anyway but I'm taking a little bit of a break but that really wasn't um, as much of a health concern as the caffeine one. The drinking thing, I'm just laying off of that because I am focusing more on water. Plus me and Anthony are planning um, with some friends of ours a vacation coming up really soon. So kind of in preparation for that, there's no need in me drinking before then because I know we're gonna be pretty lit on that trip. <laughs> Wanted to get in some new little snack and lunch boxes for school, so I found this really cool um, bento box type of situation. Because with Ann, you guys know she loves variety, and so instead of packing all these little separate plastic bins, I can just put a lot of it in here because it has separate compartments already. You know what I mean? And then this one comes out, and there's a space at the bottom. So this is going to work out really well. Really excited about this. I'm gonna be popping these in the dishwasher to sanitize them for this week, because we're gonna be using these right away. <laughs> Cascade complete um, dishwasher pods. I needed to um, stock up on these because we were almost out. Also, speaking of pods, I went ahead and got a couple more of my Priscil Pro Clean discs. So I went ahead and got two. What else? What else? What else? Almost done. You know? <laughs> For Ann. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Ann has a. Oop. I hurt my elbow a little bit. Aunt has a little Valentine's party that she was invited to. It's so exciting because I think this is like her first like little social event that she was invited to. I mean, there, there have been birthday parties and stuff like that, but this is a little bit different because it's just for like, like hanging out and stuff. So we're gonna go, all right? We're gonna wear our masks and we're gonna go. So I found these little Valentine's Day friendship exchange um, candy hearts that she can um, give away to some of the kids there. <sighs> this is the thing I'm probably most excited Okay, you guys, so we have been making some major, major progress in the potty training department. If you're new and you're wondering why I'm making such a big deal about a four-year-old getting potty trained, you need to check out my Autism Mom vlogs. I'll put the link for you to check those videos out. But for the rest of you guys who already know the deal, you know, we've been really working on this and um, lately Anne has been wearing panties like a big girl. Like, I don't even know what a pull-up is. Like, what is an easy up? Like, I haven't seen training pants in such a long time because she's been wearing exclusive her little panties now let me stop let me slow down okay we have been still doing the training pants overnight but she wakes up dry so we're making progress you guys so I'm so excited I have to give credit to Ann's therapy center though and being really thorough about reporting back what's going on at the center because she's there almost as long as she's home so it's been really great and I had to go and buy her some more little undies because you know she's wearing them so much you know we got to get her collection up so I am excited to be buying her these we're making progress. And you guys can look forward to an Autism Mom update video coming really, really soon, because it's about that time. Okay, let's get through this, because y'all are like, come on, Vaughn. Also for Anne, I got her this little, I just walked by the kids section, and I just, I can never not buy my child something. So I got her this Easel Junior, and I just feel like this will be really good to put like on her little play table in her playroom. And it's got like the little letters, and the other side of it has like a little chalkboard, and we can just really work through this with like trying to spell out stuff and ABCs and one, two, threes, and all that. And I just like how this thing has um, built in storage, so these little letters won't be all over the place. A couple things for me so, just some fitness stuff. I got this jump rope by Tone It Up, and then I got this loop resistance bands. So, I've been wanting to really try these out. You guys know I copy all of my workout stuff from things that I've seen on Instagram. 
So I definitely been wanting to try those resistance bands out. We'll see how that works. I've really been taking more of a deliberate approach about my fitness just because I feel like I start to kind of plateau and I'm just like, eh. I was getting really unmotivated and I never want to quit fitness, right? Because that's just like a way of life. So I just wanted to like give myself a little reset. And then also I've been really like intentional about like the things that I'm eating because things were getting a little bit out of hand. Like with having a little kid, like sometimes I feel like it can like mess up your diet because you're eating like around their schedule and you're eating some of the stuff that they're eating. So I feel like I've been eating kind of bad because of like the finicky eating that Anne has. And I'm not blaming her, obviously. She's just a little kid and she's got to get through the process. I mean, I was a kid once before. I know we were really picky as well. So that's just one of those things though where I had to just take a step back and I was able to do that over my break and just really, you know, think and strategize my life, you know? And my health was just a really big part of that. And I was just really thinking like, you know, I shouldn't really be eating like this, you know, like I'm not four, you know, like I'm, I'm approaching 40. So I need to be really like intentional about like how I'm approaching, like making sure I'm getting all of my nutrients and stuff because I can't just pop a Flintstone vitamin, you know, there's much more at stake like bone loss and heart health and that kind of thing, you know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. Sit down, okay. sit down. Somebody's home from school having their leftovers. Singing a song and whatnot, and I'm over here working on a few things. Okay, so this is what I got from Target, all right? One of these bins with the multi-storage drawers. And then this is what I'm trying to do, you guys. I'm trying to relocate Salsa's food, which is in this big bin here. Actually, I'm looking for something for water storage. So I got a couple of stackable bins for right there. Sit down, Ann. I bought a couple of new baskets for bread storage because they're longer. And these are the bins I was talking about. And then in here, I'm probably gonna put that drawer bin thing down there. And I think I'm going to relocate these to Ann's room. These cute baskets. Really cute. They look expensive, don't they? But I got those from Marshalls, I think. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> We've spilled over into day two because I ran out of time yesterday, ran out of daylight and stuff. I wanted to show you guys the finished results downstairs and the pantry and the laundry room, but I ran out of time. So anyway, good morning. I'm up here with Ann. We just got up a little bit ago, and I wanted to show you guys how she's taking to her new little toy that I bought her yesterday, so I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But the reason that she's home and not at therapy or school, she's over here singing her little songs and stuff, is because she had a little allergies, you know, a little sniffly nose, and she had like a slight dry cough. Nothing major, but she was sneezing a little bit, so the center sent her home, and she won't be able to return until we go to the doctor and get like a doctor's note and stuff, so that's probably what we're gonna do today. So yeah, uh, I'm in Ann's playroom, like I said, and I went ahead and popped her curtains back up. You guys can't see it because of the sun working against us, but I popped those back up last night, so I'm really happy about that. So I'm just glad to get that out of the way, and I'm gonna get dressed in a second here. I know I'm looking kind of spicy. <laughs> But yeah, Ann was just dancing and singing. She already had her breakfast and stuff. Ann, Ann, look. Look, she's playing a song. You can't bother her when she's playing her instruments, honey. But we were just sitting here playing with the blocks, building little forts and stuff for her little miniature animals. 
She's really into these blocks these days. And we were just trying to see like what pieces would fit where, trying to figure out what block building would make sense and things like that. So we just been working on that. Oh, and so this toy that I got her, right? She's really been liking it, you guys. Ever since I opened this up, she's been sitting right here with her little friends, joining her at the table. <laughs> and she's been trying to spell out little stuff and just picking some of the icons that she likes. So nothing, nothing major, no breakthroughs uh, yet, but she has been interested in it. And it's so cute because it looks like a little laptop. And I just wrote her name on the back. Are you singing, mommy? This is her favorite song right now. It's a song about a cat who is mischievous. <laughs> oh, and also, you guys, I think Anne really likes her new lamp. I think she really likes it. She was staring at it and stuff. So this seems to be a success. So I'm really happy about that. You guys see she has stuff everywhere in her room. She was having a blast in here last night and she's got my jump rope. She was trying to figure out what it was for. So yeah, I'm actually uploading a video right now and once I get that thing uploaded and set live, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower and get dressed so we can run over here to this urgent care clinic, get this doctor's note. So this girl can go back to school, okay? Oh yeah, and this little thermal pajama set doesn't fit too good. I mean, it's comfortable, but um, it fits kind of cheap and the legs are way too tight. And I'm just thinking what medium sized man would be able to fit this? Like what medium sized man do you know has legs skinnier than mine? Usually men have like more bulky muscles and stuff. So I don't know, Menards, <laughs> cheapy, cheapy, but it's, it's still cool for like, you know, pajamas and stuff. <laughs> it's lunchtime and we still have not left out yet, but it's happening. I just want to show you guys Anne's lunch today. She's having a PB&J and some other items. I hope she likes it. I hope she eats it. Cause I don't want to take her on an empty stomach cause she's going to be not so happy. So we pulled the iPad out so she could sit down and I took her braids out. Um, we need to wash her hair soon. We went through a period of a lot of breakage and stuff happening with her hair. So I think we're, moving away from that. She's like, stop touching my hair. Okay, mommy. It's so difficult to really care for it the way I want to because uh, she won't let me really do anything to it. So even like with conditioning and everything, we have to like move really quickly. You know, like I can't really do a whole lot, but we're getting better. Everything is a process. We're getting better, right? So yeah, I'll let her have her lunch and then we'll go to urgent care. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all what I did down here. So remember yesterday when I had those crates, girl, I stacked them and I put those LaCroix waters in the top one and then my regular spring water at the bottom. So I figured I could use this for this purpose, you know, just storing beverages. I think it's cute, it's super functional and it's gonna work out great in here. It's the perfect size for the small space. I really feel like this was what was missing all along. And then I got the longer bins for the bread, even though we don't have any bread right now. But when we do, it'll go here. So here in the laundry room closet, you guys are familiar with this. And down here, I just moved Sansa's food bin. And in this drawer container, it's just all of her foods and stuff. These. These. <laughs> and then just some grocery bag storage. Seemed like it made sense in here. I think it worked out great. This is a better place for it. When Anthony got home, he was like, yeah, I like this better. It feels more natural to come in here and get Sansa's food. So, yep. Now, as for food for me, because I haven't eaten yet either, um, I had um, some decaf coffee for breakfast. You guys, I had found some decaf coffee in my coffee stash. So I was like, ooh, let me try it. It was Starbucks. So I tried one um, and it was pretty good. I can, I can deal with it. So I think I'll kind of toggle between having teas and decaf coffee when I have my cravings for a warm beverage. And I think I want to make myself a quick smoothie. You know what I'm saying? Which smoothie blend should I have this morning or this afternoon? Should I do the Forever Young? This is just carrots, blueberries, bananas, and mandarins. Ooh. This is the energy boost. Pineapple and mango. And this is the protein. Blueberry and banana. Which one would you do? 
Y'all, I'm thinking about this one. I need some of that tang. I'm gonna do this one. I think I'm gonna use the rest of this almond milk. It's only a little bit left. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off. Yeah, with the smoothie recipe on the back of the packaging, it says to add two cubes of ice. You guys, I never add ice to my smoothies. I'm just not that girl. I don't like that. I'll, I'll just, I like frozen fruit so that I don't have to add ice, you know? Are you guys like that too? Let me know. Um, they want you to add a tablespoon of sugar. Girl, I would never. Eight ounces of milk, wa uh, water, milk, or juice. And then these are proportion little bags. So let me show y'all these little bags. While I'm opening this package though, comment below and tell me what do you think of, oh, she's getting her water. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot your water in, my bad. <laughs> and don't play, girl. Tell me what y'all think of the little compartment bins that I put in the pantry and what do you guys think of me moving Sansa's food and all of her belongings to that back closet? Look at her grabbing a Blackberry. <laughs> That's definitely my child. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that. But anywho, here's the little packet. Why are they calling this Forever Young? Okay, quick taste test. And I'm gonna do a taste test. She doesn't care. <laughs> it's pretty good though, guys. I did add a little bit of um, coconut flavored plant protein because I kind of always just do. Um, and I had to add a little bit more water because it was a little too thick. It's very, very thick. Very thick. But for the most part, I would say I recommend this blend. If you guys see this in the grocery store, definitely pick it up and check it out if you're into thick, flavorful smoothies because that's what this is. For sure. Oh yeah. Somebody said they wanted to see one of the girls. So. Anne is having a concert. So this is one of the girls. This is, I believe, pink. She took her collar off, but I think this is pink. I believe this is pink. And she's so sweet. She was downstairs chilling with mommy. Look, look, let me give you guys a close up. Just so y'all know, the girl, the boys are way sweeter than the girls. She's so cute. She's got the white spots on her chest. She's blue. And I think her eyes are gray. This one has gray eyes. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. Aww. Look. Okay, I'm gonna sit her up so you guys can see how big she is. I'm low key scared to put her down because she's probably gonna pee. You guys, these puppies, all they do is pee and poop constantly, nonstop. Okay, I'm gonna lift you up. Lift you up. Ready? Let's see. She's big. She's a big one. I is big. I is big, you guys. I is show sure enough big, you guys. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, I love the way their breath smells. It smells like coffee beans. It can't just be me who feels that way. I know my mom does. We always laugh about how puppies' breath smells like coffee beans. But isn't she so pretty, you guys? I just love how their coats and eye colors just kind of coordinate. Just the prettiest. I was talking to my mom earlier about Sansa's litter. And I was just looking at the puppies and I'm like, Sansa has one of the most attractive litters I have ever seen, like in one sitting, you know? Let me move the camera. Usually you'll have a litter with like a couple unbelievable coats, a couple really cute eye colors, and that's about it. But with Sansa, every single pup came out with like a really good coat and a really unique eye color to go with the coat. She's ready to go back downstairs with her siblings and mommy. You ready to go back down? I just wanted to hang out with you for a little bit. Sometimes they get a little scared. You guys know puppies be timid. They be real timid. Ann! Ann! Ann, come see the cute little puppy! Ann, come see the cute little puppy! She was more interested in them when they were really, really little, when she wasn't supposed to be near them. Now that they're bigger and she can technically play with them, she's not that interested. She only wants Sansa. <laughs> All right, Pink. Say bye-bye. I'm going to put you back downstairs. Say bye-bye, guys. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you guys. See you guys later. 
She's going on a sniffing spree. Oh, sweet girl. Okay, I'm gonna put her back and then we're gonna go to the doctor's office. Ian, yeah, come on, mommy. Come on, mommy. Headed to urgent care. Let's get it, Ian. Let's get it. <laughs> Pretty good with the face shield. No, 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 no